I just want to grab his DNA. Guys, come on. I'm not going to eat him or anything. I'm going to bring him back. Actually, I'm going to put... Ah, hey! Easy does it. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to save your friend. We're going to bring him back <laughs> to a lovely preserve. Got him. Hey, what's going on, guys and gals? Welcome to Animalica. This is an early access game I got on Steam. We're currently at version 1.04. I'll put a link down below in the description to the Steam store page where you can... Get it for, I think it's $19.99 regularly or $14.99 on sale at the time of this recording. And it's uh, for Windows only. It's single player as far as I can tell. Um, but anyway, yeah, so check it out. Link down below if you want to learn more. We're going to just jump in here and get um, started on some gameplay. I actually have a game in progress, so let's go ahead and continue with that one. All right, guys, here we are in Animalica, which is a sort of animal refuge. Some kind of reservation, preservation for animals. And we were hit by some great calamity here on Earth. Pretty sure we're on Earth. So disaster after disaster struck Earth. And now we're living in sort of a post-apocalyptic era uh, where humans are scattered all over the world and small pockets of existence. Oh, that's a deer. Let's go shoot him. Oh, yeah. That's a deer. We gotta save... See, we're not gonna kill him. We're gonna save his life and bring him back to our preservation. Uh, now, do we have... I wanna make sure I use the trank arrows and not the killing kind of arrows, and this is the only way to do this, unfortunately. Gonna drop those down. Alright. Oh, he's a beautiful specimen. And... Oh, got, oh, I got him! I hit him! He's on the run! I hope that was the right trank out. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Got him. Ooh, right in the keister. Now, he's not dead. Fear not, my friends. He's fine, he's fine. Look, red deer, brown. <laughs> Press E to collect. So we collect his, his DNA. And then we can bring him back to our bunker where there's a laboratory. And we can uh, bring it back to life or clone it or something like that. But that is kind of the... Pr pr Ew, I'm out of breath. Uh, that is kind of the primary goal here of this game is to go out and make sure we find all the animals bring them back and protect them So when you start up the game you actually oh rope you actually start out in the bunker um, Which is that building right there. We'll go down there right now in fact and see if we can bring this red deer back to life um, oh Wait, no, that's not it. Yeah, that's the bunker actually you do start in the bunker Which is just a bunch of scrap materials down there in the very beginning so you collect everything, and then you come up here, and uh, this is where the lab is. And we just kind of hustle right all the way in the back. All right, here we go. Perfect. So now we walk over to this machine. I've only done this one time with a dog that I found, and then the dog ran off. <laughs> I don't know where he we went. There was a bug in the game that apparently your animals uh, could disappear. Like, yeah, I had a nice little greyhound, but he's gone now. So let's get our red deer. There he is. I have everything we need apparently to bring this thing back to life. And it shows you the status. The, the status. The status is tamed. The condition is cured, or will be when we're done here. Gender is male. Color brown. Markings none. Rarity is pretty common. Can be placed. And the components we need is the actual animal, a cure, and a taming potion. I have all of that on hand. And whammo! That's it. And it's in our pocket right there. He's a beautiful, beautiful guy. And we're going to go bring him up. I don't think we should let him loose inside the laboratory. Might make a mess of things. Bull in the china shop kind of thing, right? So we got a chemistry table over here. We can make uh, some of these potions and things that we need, like a mutagen, which uses mutated DNA sample and a vial. And we get these DNA samples from uh, some monsters, mutated animals out there that we actually have to kill. You don't... You don't try to bring them back to life. Because they're nasty. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, let's get back topside. So, the story is pretty simple. It's kind of unpolished. Uh, the developers even admit that. So, they're still kind of working things out. But basically, yeah, you start down in the bunker. Your, your camp, this place was attacked by raiders. Um, I guess that's after the apocalypse had already struck us. And now everybody's gone, and all, all the animals are dead, too. And there's a whole bunch of paddocks over in that direction, and everything's dead. I've collected all their samples and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we have to reestablish the place. And also hook up with all the humans all around in various settlements. 
All right, well, why don't we bring this dude out? Let's put him here in the hot bar, and we can't scroll through the hot bar with the mouse wheel yet. Hopefully that gets fixed. Oh, but look at that, I can rotate him. How would you like, what, what would you like to face there, Mr. Deer? How about right here? Bloop. Oh yeah, hey, since the dog is gone, you can have his house. <laughs> oh, he's a beautiful, beautiful guy. And I can uh, have him follow me around and he'll fight. Will you fight for me? You looked a lot bigger out in the wild, I gotta say. But he's kind of cute. Now, are you going to wander off? We probably have to build a pen for you, don't we? I think that's the idea. And there's a ton, a ton of building options here. So this workshop right here is actually something that I built. And I had to collect all the proper materials for it, obviously, and now I have it. And you can make all your tools and weapons and crates. And you can make furniture here. Park bench, primitive wooden beds. Most of this stuff doesn't seem to actually have any impact on the game yet, because I made a bed, and it looks nice and everything, but it, I can't sleep in it. Alright, how about if we make a version 2 cloth-topped station? Animal uh, shelter. Yeah, there we go. So as I said, I don't even think these things even serve any purpose yet. Um, but we'll put it down over here, and maybe he'll go under it. I don't know. There you go. Got your shelter. So, wonderful. <laughs> I got your shelter. Hey, Red. No, that's my base, dude. What are you... Excuse me. No animals allowed. Thank you. Yeah, so here's my bed. And see, it doesn't do anything. I can just pick it up. All right, I'm going to have our deer follow us here. Okay, get up. And you're going to come with me. And we're going to go... I'm going to go fight or explore something. Maybe go find some more animal specimens. Let me save it. All right. So Red's going to follow Chrome and I. And I, by the way, am a lovely red-headed young lady. Ooh, pull it back. Pull it back. Dear, can you keep up? I'm sure Red can keep up. Because we're going to go full, full-out gallop. Ooh. Don't break an ankle. Poor C. So we're going to head over to uh, my boat. I have a boat, and it's the only way to travel. Wait a minute, is that deer coming? Yeah, there he is, okay. It's the only way to travel between the areas, or zones, or whatever you want to call them. At least for now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, let me get those planks. At least for now, that's how you travel via boat. And it's kind of instant. It's like a fast travel. Well, I got my dog back, but I lost my deer. So, this is what happens when you mess with genetics, my friends. <laughs> Red the deer turned back into Red the dog. I don't know what happened to the deer. That's really weird. Anyway, let's get over to the boat. And we'll move on to another area that I haven't been to yet. And explore it and see if we can find any new animals to experiment on and mess up completely. Alright, it's very windy here. So we can't bring Chrome, at least as far as I know we can't. And we just get over here to the boat. And like I said, it's pretty much just a fast travel. We hop on here and we've got all these locations. So this is where we are right now, the base. How about we go to, uh, ooh, how about Damba? Damba seems like there's big animals there. Let's go big game hunting. Oh, it's my deer. Red and red or gray. <laughs> you guys are here. What the? Oh, I traveled here via helicopter, apparently. My boat turned into a helicopter. Okay. All right, now let's keep our eyes open. There we go. I see an elephant, guys. Ooh, the smoke over there indicating it could be... Could be a settlement of humans. We have zebras here? Oh, baby. Oh, I gotta get me a zebra. Let's get a zebra. Let's drop those arrows. Whoops. Bloop. And hopefully this thing will shoot again. Oh, they're running. Well, of course they're running. There's a guy with a bow in the grass. Oh, you know what? Let's turn our regular arrows into tranks. Let's just do it. We'll just That way I don't have to keep dropping them. Um, there we go. All right, so now we have 57 tranks. The tranks actually do take the mutated animals out anyway. So despite this game's warts and unpolish and unfocus, <laughs> lack of direction. <laughs> I still find myself playing it a lot. So it's not a bad looking game. It actually looks halfway decent. 
and it runs fairly well. Oh, we've got a camp here. There's a tent. And I see fire over there. Now, there are raiders and bandits, apparently, out in the world, so we should be cautious here. This looks like it's empty. There's also friendly NPCs that you can uh, trade with and buy from. Control. All right, control key is crouch. Let me see if I can get inside here. Yes, I can grab the hides. Oh, maybe a poacher tent. What was that? I think I heard an elephant. It wasn't me, elephant. I'm not a poacher. I'm here to help. There's some smoke over here. Let's go investigate. I wonder if I can trank a human. I guess I could. You should be able to trank a human. Just like you can an animal. Is that a horse? <gasps> Ooh, I'm stealing somebody's horse. <laughs> We're gonna rustle a horse. Let's see if there's anybody here. If there is, I'm shooting him and taking the horse. Maybe this horse is just meant for me. It looks clear. Hello, horse! What's your name, buddy? This guy doesn't have a name, but we can ride him. Let's grab these sticks. You can carry pretty much everything. I mean, you have a limited number of slots, but there's no weight yet. I don't know if there ever will be. Yeah, definitely poachers here. Eggs. That's what it looks like to me. And you can use these fires to cook. Oh, grab the rope. Um, is this a cook fire? Dog, do not go in the fire. No, this is not a cook fire, because some fires you can cook on. What did I just say? You're going to get burned, dumb dumb. Can I take this thing, too? No. Yeah, this is this is this is a poacher camp, I think. So I'm stealing the horse. Yeah, all right, now we're talking. You're more chrome than the than the chrome chrome. <laughs> all right, let's see if my animals can keep up with me. I probably should have left the animals home, but I suppose they can help me fight the uh, mutated animals if we ever run into any. So we're getting some choppiness here. It could be a combination of the uh, game just not being optimized and my recording software. I did not have those issues before I was recording. But yeah, the game's got a long way to go, guys. It is early access. It's full of warts and bumps and blemishes. But I've got high hopes for it. Hopefully the devs can come up with some kind of cohesive narrative um, and direction at some point and put it all together. Because right now it just seems like a whole hodgepodge of various features kind of glued together. Because like I said, I keep coming back to it because it is fun to explore and collect animals, that's for sure. Now, we got elephants here, guys. I don't know if I'm able to take an elephant down with my tranks, but we're certainly going to try. I've got 57, right? Maybe I'll save it here. Saving just a matter of pressing the F5, a quick save, or you can save it this way as well. So you can't really mess up too badly. Uh, let me drink. What's up, Red? Where are you going? Back here. Don't scare them animals away. Now we have some food here too. What is this? It's like a big ham or something. Alright, I'm going to shoot this elephant. He's coming right at me. Oh gosh, he's coming right at me. Oh! Oh, he's stomping on my head. Hey, you leave my dog alone. That's my deer, dude. Oh, he's so mad. He's a crazy bull elephant. He's on the run. Oh, look at all the arrows sticking out of his face. We got him, guys. We got him. Yay. We got an elephant. <laughs> all right, elephant. Brown. African elephant. We got him. Oh, wow. Okay, let's get out of here. I want to go get a zebra next. Let's go find a zebra. So that's a perfect example of why we want to bring our pets with us on these uh, on these hunts. Because they make great distraction decoys. <laughs> Good work, guys. All right, keep up. I see some new animals over here. Oh, giraffe. Oh, giraffe. Hold up. Let me get the giraffe. You guys stay. Unless it comes at me, then you can go get him. Oh, there he goes. No. Come back. I think I got him. Makes kind of a wet sound when you hit him. <laughs> Am I hitting him? It doesn't appear there's any drop of these arrows. Oh my. It's faster than he looks. All right, let me go back and get the horse. All right, guys, new tactics. Hey, Red, don't scare him. Get behind me, guys. I got a bow pointing down, down range here. 
Let's see if I can get close to this guy. If I can get a few shots off before he takes off. Doesn't even see us. Oh! Oh, I thought he was on the run. We got him. That's two. Oh, dang it. I missed. Oh, I don't want to shoot that elephant. Can I keep up with him? Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. We got him! We got him! Four arrows to bring him down. Now, I wonder if the elephants are all friendly. Unless I shoot him, of course. All right, grab that DNA. Grab it. Where it at? Hi. I don't want you, good sir. I don't see the stuff. Excuse me. There it is. Okay, the body disappeared, thankfully. And there it is. Reticulated giraffe. Awesome. We got a reticulated giraffe. And an elephant. I think this has been a pretty successful hunt. Let's get back to base and we'll... Uh, We'll clone these guys, or revive them, or whatever the heck it's called. And then uh, we'll release them and check them out. All right, you two with? Red and red? Okay, let's go find our helicopter. Just gonna find the smoke again. Is there a map? All right, guys, I found the helicopter. Pretty sure that's the helicopter smoke there. And we also have zebras. And I want a zebra. I mean, we might as well get one while we're here, right? I don't know when I'm going to come back this way. So let's kind of sneak up on one. Oh, I'm not sneaking up on anybody, huh? Oh, you rotten scoundrels. Well, they, oh, jeez. Sorry, did I just shoot the horse? <laughs> I didn't shoot you with that, did I? All right, just don't pass out with me on your back. Okay, they, they went toward the helicopter, so going in our direction. And wham! I got one. Oh, they laugh like hyenas. Oh, come back. Come on, I mean you no harm. Yay, I got... Whoa, I'm gonna get trampled. Watch out. What are you laughing at? Get out of here, it's mine. Oh, they're trying to protect him. Aren't they? Oh, that's cool. I just want to grab his DNA. Guys, come on. I'm not gonna eat him or anything. I'm gonna bring him back. Actually, I'm gonna put... Ah, hey! Easy does it. I'm, gonna... I'm trying to save your friend. We're gonna bring him back <laughs> to a lovely preserve. Got him! Alright, scatter. I got him now. Oh, they really did scatter. Well, wasn't that interesting? They were trying to protect a fallen friend. Okay, we have a bunch of animals here from the, uh, the savannah. So, let's boogie. Let's get back on the boat. And I'm gonna leave my horse here. Put you right here. Chrome does not chrome. Here we go. And, alright, I'll see you, uh, see you guys back at... Where can we go? Oh, that's a fire! <laughs> I'm jumping into the fire thinking it's the teleportal. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're not setting a very good example for my animals. Uh, we're gonna go back to base. Alright, here we are back in Animalica. Animal refuge! Um, can I open that with you on horseback? I think so. Can I close it? Let's try. Uh, yes, I can. Back it up. Oh, red, watch it. There we go. Don't want to get your head stuck in there. All right, let's gallop on over here to the uh, the water trough that he doesn't use, actually. <laughs> it's just for decoration. <laughs> Again, I'm really hoping some of this stuff gets a use after a while. Oh, no! Where did this tree come from? I put a water pump here um, a couple of patches ago, and you can fill water bottles here if you have any water bottles. I don't have any on me right now, any empties. Um... But yeah, so this tree just grew up over here. New place. All right, you know what? Let's chop it down. Here, let's see if this thing is useful for cutting down trees. It's very expensive to make. Oh, woo! Yeah, all right, it works. It works. Much better than the original axe you start with. Okay. Uh, oh, let's go. Yeah, let's go do the DNA thing. And where are... Where's my dog? All right. Let's go over to the medical bay. And hopefully... I have everything we need. If not, I'm going to have to whip some stuff up. So you do find some cures and taming potions around in the facility at the start of the game. So we got the African elephant. Look at all these animals. There's so many. Okay, it looks like I need more cure. Dang it, I'm all out of cure. So what does it take to make cure? I have not been picking flowers, but that's what you need. To make some of these things, various um, plants that grow around. Oh yeah, okay, here's the cure. We need a lot. Aloe, dandelion, chicory, 
rose hip and elderberry flowers. We have a lot of this right here in the preserve. We've got a greenhouse. So let's run over there and see if we can get some more cure. I've got some taming potions and some mutagen, but I don't have any cures. Let's go see if we can find some in the greenhouse. This um, is Marigold from outside the greenhouse. And this little feller? Napweed. Alright, what do we have? We have Sage. And my guess is we'll be able to grow some more of this. A little snipping sound, you hear that? Some aloe. And what was the other one? Natural I'll enrichment. Be taking this. Oh, don't talk. Please don't talk. Yeah, the woman talks occasionally. Cannabis. <laughs> snip, snip. Uh, just for medicinal purposes only, obviously. Yeah, I'd rather not have the, the voice acting in this. First of all, it's really bad. And secondly, there's really no reason to have a voice character in games like this. I mean, I don't mind the, the moans and the groans when you jump or you fall and you hurt yourself or something, but... Um, yeah, I don't need someone talking to me. Alright guys, let's release the elephant in one of the paddocks in the Animalica facility. That's what this is right here. And I'm still looking for the ingredients for the cure. I can't find all the plants, so we're just going to do this one now and I'll look around later. So here he is, African elephant, brown, tame, cured, male, common, can be placed. Put him right here in this paddock. Whoop, wrong thing. There he is. Oh, look at you, you big fella. Boom. Oh, he's so cute. You want to follow me? I don't know if he can fit through the door. So this is probably where we're supposed to put the animals over here so they can't escape. But you can't have them follow you. He'd make a great bodyguard, wouldn't he? Oh, I bet. Now, you do have troughs with food and water in them, but I don't think they do anything yet. Oh, I thought he was just about to drop a turn. <laughs> he's, just, he's just laying down. Oh, aren't you cute? Just taking a quick little nap. That is adorable. Where is that trough? I just picked one up from another paddock. Here it is. A large feeding trough grass. So it's got grass in it. Will you eat grass? Hey, Bubba. I'll call you Bubba. Hey, here. Let's put this down. Is there a front to it? I guess not. So there it is. Again, I don't know if this actually serves any purpose right now. I don't know if the animals need food and if they'll eat from troughs, but we have a food trough and a water trough that we can craft. Put them in the paddocks. Okay, Pallet, you stay right here. Alright guys, I have discovered that I actually have rose hip right here in my crate, inside my base. But we're still missing chicory. So we cannot make the cure until we find chicory. So I just put the zebra and the giraffe inside that crate <laughs> until we can find chicory. And word on the street is chicory grows somewhere near the city. And the city is a, uh, it's a nasty, scary place, but... If we're going to bring these two new specimens back to life, then we have to risk it. So let's get going. Oh, I love that we can open that up now. But it be easy just, ow, to do it that way. Instead of trying to turn around with old Red here, hopefully my dog and my deer, oh, stop kicking, will catch up with us. Last time I saw them, they were over here swimming around on the islands. <laughs> so I'll meet you at the boat. And we'll head over to uh, we'll head over to the city. We're not been so far. All right, here we are, guys. And look who decided to show up. <laughs> red and red. Good to see you guys. Now I wonder if there's any chicory over here. I don't know. I, I you know I should have been picking up the plants when I had the opportunity, but I just didn't think they were going to be handy. What is this? Fiber. Zale. All right, guys, I'll meet you in the city. Coltsburg. Ooh, what a disaster. Looks like we flew here. Nice. You guys are here, too. Wonderful. Now, I just saw a tool tip, by the way. You can call your animals by pressing the B key. <laughs> what is that noise I'm making? Scary. Okay, we're on the overpass. Now, how do we get down? I guess we can jump. Ooh, there's creatures down there. 
Oh, it's one of those mutated boars. Alright, yeah, like I said, this is going to be a rough neighborhood. So we have to be on our guard. Now, I'm seeing some things here growing next to the city. Let's go check it out. Wild flower. That gave us wild seeds. What are you? Marigold. Looking for chicory. I don't even know what chicory looks like. Yellow iris. Are you a chicory? Dog rose. Snakeweed. No snakes in it, fortunately. Oh, check it out. We've got a mushroom. M and Antanasania. Oh, and timbers. There, chicory, chicory, chicory. Look at that thing. Someone's spine and rib cage. It's a Boletus edulis. Iris, blood iris. Oh, bricks, for building. That's nice. That's nothing. Firewood. Strange box. I do not have the ability to open this. You do not have the ability to open this. I wish you didn't have the ability to open your mouth either, lady. Alright, I think we need like a special key for that. I read about that in the forums. I'm not sure where we get the key. But we'll hold on to it. Straight, a sealed box. Some merchants might want it. Maybe I can pay a merchant to open it for me. Alright, am I gonna I'm gonna have to look up chicory. <laughs> chicory! <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out, Red. You almost ate it. I can't believe it. All this time. Can you imagine if the deer ate my chicory? Alright, well now we know what it looks like. Kind of purpley, pinky thing. Here it is. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, well let's find... I want to make sure I have enough metal scraps here. The outskirts of the city. Old church over there outside the city. And it looks like a little animal. Oh, is this another sealed crate? No, we can open this. Ooh, what do we have here? Painkillers. Lovely. And they don't stack. It's too bad. Energy drink. Seafood. Uh, we're going to have to drop some things here. Drat. I shouldn't have brought all this with us. Um, elderberries. Your father smelled of elderberries. We can drop that. And a tracker knife. That's most likely an ingredient of some kind for a special recipe. So I'm going to grab that. All right. Who's shuffling around over here, huh? Wow. Okay, this is pretty cool. Kind of excited to get down there and explore some. But I think I want to just head back right now and whip up these animals. Oh, big mutant. Big mutant. All right, can I get my guys to attack him? Oh, here he comes. Get him, guys. Oh, they did. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, I hit my, I hit my dog. Sorry, Red. Oh, this was aggressive. More aggressive than the one on the bridge. You got him, boy. Get in there, dear. Do something. Good boy. Oh, oh man, he's on top of me. Go back off. Ooh, we did it. We did it. Oh. This should help. Yeah, it should help. Thank you, guys. Good work. <laughs> that dog is savage. A gorehound head. What? Are you serious? I can't carry that. Oh, please stop. All right, I've seen enough of the city. Yeah, great place to visit, but wouldn't want to live here. Let's roll. Let's head back to base and wake up our zebra and our um, giraffe. All right, back at camp. Let's try to call our pets. See if this works. Maybe they have to be within... No, they don't have to be within <laughs> hearing range. <laughs> they came out of the base. <laughs> Alright, you guys can stay here now, okay? Go on, relax. Thanks for your help today. You guys were wonderful. Awesome. Uh, where are you going, Red? Red dog. Are you going in the base? I'm going to sit in the porch. Okay, I did make you a dog house, you know. He doesn't use a dog house. Let's cook up some of those fish. I'll show you guys how to do some cooking. Oh, we can cook up mushrooms too. Okay, cool. So, how many fish do we have? 24. Cook up all the fish. Boom! Just like that. And that'll just go. We can walk away. And eventually, we'll have 24 cooked fish in our pockets. Alright, let's go down and cure these two fellers. I'm going to make sure they had them in my pocket. I do. And we should have the ingredients now to uh, to make these cures. 
Yes, finally. Oh, all right, but I gotta stop making these things. Uh, dang it, can I cancel that? Let's make the cures. We make at least two cures. All right, we've got four bottles of cure now, so that should be enough to do this. Assuming they take it to a piece. Whoops, oh, I don't need to do that. All right, reticulated giraffe. Requires two cure and two taming potion. And zebra. One cure and one taming potion. Great. Awesome, there they are. The blue background. I guess that means we can put them down now. That means they're cured. All right, let's let's uh, let's get over to the paddock. Let's ride a horse. It's faster that way. We're gonna put him in with the, uh, the elephant exhibit. African exhibit. All right, here he is. There he is. Hey, Bubba. Got you some friends. You might even recognize them. Yeah, let me just close this up. Don't want anybody to escape after going through all that. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no. Bubba. Hey, <laughs> he's fine. Okay. Here, let's get your new buddies out. Got a zebra. And a giraffe. Put a giraffe right here. Boom. Welcome home. Giraffe. And let's turn the zebra around. Bam! And you're gonna sit right down and have a nap. What? You didn't even do anything! I did all the work! <laughs> Alright, awesome! We've saved... Well, we have to get... Um, this is a female... Oh, sorry! Just stomped all over them. Two females. So I guess we have to get one of each gender, right? So that um, we can carry on the species. In case all the ones in the wild die. It's like Noah's Ark here, right? Yeah, probably not a bad idea. What are you, Bubs? Bubs is a male. Alright, excellent. Hope you guys like your new home. It's pretty awesome, right? Alright, guys. I think we're going to call it quits right here. Hang out with my savannah animals. Get to know them a little bit. And then, uh, if you guys want to see more, let me know. Put it down in the comments. We never did get to go see any other people. There are people. There are settlements where you can trade with people. And there's apparently bandits and bad guys around too. I've never run into any of them. So, yeah, maybe we can do that sometime. Go stir up some trouble. What do you say, Bubs? Bubba would like that. I'll bring Bubba. He'll protect us. Oh, he's amazing. Check him out, huh? And with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. So, hope you all enjoyed. Once again, this is Animalica. Put a link down below in the description to the Steam Store page where you can check it out for yourself. Alright, have a good day. Bye-bye.